What's going on everybody? It is Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. And welcome to another video every day in February as well as we're keeping up with the daily uploads. We are trying to hit 3,000 subs on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, this morning I went out, did some thrifting with my wife. We had some breakfast. It was very nice. Everything today was just like one thing here, one thing there. There wasn't a ton of stuff. Uh, we I hit a bunch of different thrift stores, especially after she went to work. I wound up going out to Stallion Express, dropping some stuff off, hit the Goodwill bins, hit a couple more thrift stores, but it was just sort of like hit and miss on what I found. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that I found right now. And then after that, we're gonna pull some orders. So these ASICs should sell for about, I don't know, between $30 and $40. They are in really good shape, so I'll probably try to get closer to the high 30s, but uh, not too bad. I found a lot of other shoes in that particular Goodwill, but they're all, they're, today they were just overpriced. There were some $14 shoes, some $20 shoes, and then a lot that were just not very good at all. But you know, still happy to find these ones. So I always like to look at the cameras. This one was 10 bucks. I actually had a card, so you get a stamp every time you spend $10 at uh, three different Salvation Armies in my area. And then when you get 10 stamps, you get $10 off. So this actually was free. So even though it's $10, I didn't have to pay anything. That's kind of cool. Uh, and this thing goes for all over the place. So I haven't tested it yet. It's got a $10 sticker on it as well. It's a Nikon, it says on the back, I think. Uh, cool Picks L, I think it's L120. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be somewhere between $40 and, and $80. So I'll test it out. I'll make sure everything functions well. Uh, it does have a, a battery and a charger. So, you know, we'll be able to test this thing out and hopefully get it listed within a couple of days. kind of knew that it was too much money for that uh, Harley Davidson jacket anyway. Um, and then when I looked up comps, I couldn't find any comps. All the comps on the jean jackets are fairly low. And then the only one I could find was a listed and it was listed for 40. And they probably won't even get 40 uh, based off of what's selling. So hard to say, Harley Davidson can be worth a, a lot of money depending. I would have thought jean jackets, Harley Davidson would have equaled decent money, but in this case, Apparently not, so it's always a good good idea to look up comps. I don't always do that, and sometimes it bites me in the butt. Today I did look up comps, and I'm pretty happy to be leaving a $20 jacket at the thrift store. So I spent a dollar and 75 cents at the bins. Now the first item is really tiny. I don't think this is going to sell for much. I just thought it was really cool. Get into focus here. Metropolitan Police, 1957. One sold for a couple of dollars on eBay. There are a couple listed that don't have, I, so none of them have the date. There's a, there are a couple listed for like 15 to 18 bucks. I see some on Etsy. I might throw this guy up for like, uh, I don't know, like 50, I can't get it to focus again, but maybe 15 bucks. I just thought it was cool. Like I said, I spent $1.75 on all this stuff, only three items. Got this Hurley hat. So it is a used hat. Uh, it's the equivalent of a dry fit hat. I think theirs is called H2O Dry. I even used this should sell for like 15 to 20 bucks. So I'll probably try to get closer to 20 bucks for this one plus shipping. Pretty nice hat. Like again, like I said, I didn't spend much at the bins. It was very busy. I don't normally go as late in the day and I, I, I just couldn't hang out there. It was, it was too busy for me personally. I like going first thing in the morning. It's nice and slow. I can kind of chit chat with people. It's, it's more my speed, but anyway. Uh, this last one, Chicago Blackhawks. So this was in a Goodwill somewhere originally for $6.79 all by itself. So that alone I think is cool enough, but this is why I picked it up because on the back it says uh, Champions 13. So I think it's the 2013 uh, championship. I'm assuming they won the Stanley Cup. I'd have to fact check that. Who's it on the brew line? He's tripped. Ladies and gentlemen, the Chicago Blackhawks have won the Stanley Cup. They've won the <laughs> Stanley Cup for the second time in four seasons. But I'm assuming that that's why it says that on the back. I think that's pretty cool. This is on the old time hockey tag. I can't find a comp for this. I've only really searched, tried to look for one for maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. So I didn't really look that hard, but 
I kind of expect to get between 30 to 25 bucks for this t-shirt. All right, we got a Poshmark.ca order. Uh, I just moved my mugs over here and probably shouldn't put this one inside of the other one, but see any damage or anything like that. Probably not the best way to store it. Uh, but this is a 2000, 2028, I think. Yeah, 2028 Tim Hortons coffee mug. It's got the uh, beaver on it. I think a loon, some hockey, hockey stuff. Really, really nice condition. We'll give it an extra little wipe down just in case I see a little crumb or something in there. Wanted to be nice and clean. So we're gonna bubble wrap this guy. We're gonna throw it. I think it'll fit in one of these boxes. Let's get it all packaged up and get it shipped out. This thing sold, I think, too, for $17 on Poshmark. All right, so we're going to just put some packing paper in there. We're gonna pack, push down, make sure we still have room. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more paper to fill in the rest of the void here. Also, you don't, you don't really want it to be well, too tight. That could also create problems here, but a nice safe fold and we'll get this guy shipped out as always on poshmark this is going expedited parcel buyer pay shipping it's going staying in ontario actually uh shannonsville ontario i've actually never heard of that either uh paid dollar 97 for this just under two bucks so selling it for 17 bucks on poshmark not huge money but these mugs always do sell all right we have an etsy sale and i know it's in this waterloo uh bin here i just don't know or bin uh tool chest there it is. I knew it was in here for sure. It's marked Waterloo. It just They are numbered. I just don't have a number for some reason. So it's this oversized slot car. Uh, this thing's not been tested. I had two. I sold the other one. Actually had a whole track and everything, but the track had issues. So I just wound up keeping the car and selling it, selling them. The other one sold for similar money. I think I got like 22, 20, 22 bucks in Etsy, something like that. Uh, with this guy, I will probably bubble wrap him and put him in a small box just to be safe. So let's get this one packed up. All right, well, I got this one in a box. It's definitely safe, and it's definitely going to go for a bit of a journey. It's going all the way to Manitoba, and there was no real cheap option, even with Stallion Express. I wound up doing Canada Post expedited, expedited parcel uh, because it gave me some more insurance and stuff, and it was still this was still actually the cheapest option. It was $15.15. I think on Etsy, I charged uh, $12 for shipping, so I'm losing a couple dollars there in shipping, um, but still... Not too bad, really. And like I said, I salvaged this car and another car from a uh, a slot car set that was broken. So still pretty happy with this. So it's actually the next day. And we're going to take a little break from order pulling because this back wall here, the other day when I cleaned the floor and got Leo's bed back where it belongs and straightened all this stuff up, the other thing I was really trying to do was I have a desk that I want to put back here. And I talked about it in another video. Now, this morning, I've already got my listing done. I've cleaned some shoes and got some stuff ready to be listed for tomorrow, but before I start pulling orders again today, uh, I would like to clean this area out and get the desk in there. Uh, if I can get that all done and set up, tomorrow I should be able to buy a chair and I'll have it all set up. I wanna use this area for the podcast, uh, maybe when I'm doing lives, if I do any more uh, shows with, with Scott on his channel. Um, pretty much any time that I'm doing anything YouTube related, I'd like to have a dedicated area back here so I'm not always just using the area in the kitchen. Um, I try to migrate in here. I'm still probably going to ship out there. Most likely we'll list out there for the most part, but I'd like to have a workstation in here regardless. So far I've got this one shelf cleared off and we're going to get it out of here completely and figure out what to do with it. So I've pretty much moved my Funkos over here, straightened up the DVDs, moved some media up so it's up there. Going to do the same with this one, probably get some of this stuff over there. Some of this stuff I'll have to find new homes for, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> We got the second shelf cleaned off here. Now I'm gonna to try to move everything down so they have lots of room for the desk. So we're gonna slide this down and then I think back there where you see the shoes beside the cabinet, I think that's where I'm gonna leave a, a, a second, uh, maybe one of these, maybe even put one of these over there for DVDs and VCR combos. As you can see, I don't have very many right now. I have none actually. A tuner, a couple tape decks and a tuner. No VCRs, no DVD combos, but that is something that I normally do stock, so I need need to be mindful and make sure that I do have a spot for those. So we've gone ahead and installed some stained glass here behind. Uh, it is already really bright in this room, so I basically just trying to get rid of some of the 
some of the light that's going to come through and create a problem for me because right? I have all these light bars oh, that one's falling out of there around in the room and then obviously I've got these LEDs up here as well I do have more of the bars so if I needed some more light I could mount another one above there but uh pretty happy with that that stuff I just picked up at the Goodwill bins it didn't actually stick the way that it was supposed to so I just duct taped it with this beautiful cat skull duct tape which themes I guess my personality at the very, very least so let's get the desk and get it set up I have to move some more bins but uh we're making some progress. All right, so no surprise in this room, it's not level. So I'm gonna have to just figure this out. We're gonna have to find something to put under one of the feet to get it uh, leveled out. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of organizing right now and then I'll show you uh, how it turns out in the end. All right, so step one is complete anyway. Um, so if we start over here, okay, so this is staying where it, where it is. I have to go through all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff here that probably just doesn't need to be here. This is a hat stretcher. You know, there's some good stuff. There's a box, this box is from my thermal printer. I can go through this stuff and probably get rid of some stuff. I moved most of my shipping stuff over here. I know I said earlier I need a space for um, DVD VCR combos. And I'll figure that out when I get there. So I'm limiting myself a little bit on space, but so before I had these in the corner three deep, so now we have two and then I did another one of these. I didn't have to move anything here. I actually had enough room here. I just had to move one book bag, which is a personal bag that I had in here. Everything else here is the same. This shelf is the same. The shoes really have just moved from that corner all the way down. So the shoes are the same. Cat bed's obviously still there. That brings us to this back corner. Now these cross lights that I just added here, um, they're actually on a, a separate switch. And probably for the most part, I would not have those on. I would just have the regular room lights on. Now I added these two, so if I do live streaming in the room, then I can have some backlight. I don't know if this one that I have in the window is even gonna do anything. I was gonna mount it up here, but there's just not enough room. Uh, as far as over here, I just moved all my blank media up, my video games to the middle. I'm gonna need more room for video games. So I'm gonna have to figure this out a little bit later. Um, oops, dropping stuff. I'll have to figure out what I just dropped. Uh, we have some mugs. All the Funkos are here. This is a, the only DVDs I have left are pretty much mostly uh, seasons and like music ones. I have some cassettes I haven't done anything with. I'm gonna try to keep this for the combos and stuff. So I'm gonna try to figure out if some of the stuff can be delisted and donated. I know a couple things here have been on here for way too long my printer's here it's gonna stay probably i'm gonna sell this record player unless i hook it up again in here i had had it playing for a while got some more stuff down there got some gloves for sale whatever there's just some more stuff over there i got stuff everywhere as you can tell but so far i'm pretty happy with what's going on in here it's a little bit cluttered i have to get used to it so so tomorrow we'll get a chair from most likely staples i'll look online too but i'll probably just pick one up at staples honestly and uh we can put it together and see how the room looks you know a little bit more finished all right we're just about to start to pull some more orders and uh i don't know if you can hear that or not that noise sorry about that that's the roomba i guess it just started downstairs right as i started this video clip but what i wanted to tell you is my orders from posh.com just started tracking officially right now i just got emails from every single order showing thank you for shipping them they all have updated in the in the posh system i'm so happy that is what i've been waiting for even when i dropped them off yesterday i had the guys scan them for me right then so i knew they were in the system but they still have to get to the u.s they still have to get scanned on that side before they actually start uh, tracking on Poshmark, and they are, so I'm so happy for that. So let's get some more stuff pulled out and shipped out today. All right, we made another Poshmark.ca. Now I just listed these, and I can't remember where I put them. You guys just see me pick these up at Onward Thrift. They're these black Converse. Uh, so Posh Sidekick sends, off, sends out, I think I have it set up for a 15% or 10% offer. I'd have to look, I change it every once in a while. But uh, I think they were listed for $39 and it sent out a best offer of $33. So they sold for $33 Canadian on Poshmark. Uh, let's get these ones shipped out. 
All right, once again, like all Poshmark orders, this is going expedited parcel, Canada Post, buyer pay shipping, and this one's going all the way to Saskatoon. All right, another Poshmark.ca order. Poshmark has been picking up pretty good for me. The, uh, the Canadian one had been slow, but it's getting good. I think it's these ones. I know it's a pair of gray vans. These ones look, look to be like the right ones. This, get these, this sit back up here. There we go. Uh, yeah, pretty sure these are them. We'll double check. They should be size, uh, women's size nine, men's seven. So give it a quick look here. They're size nine. Yeah, it looks like, looks like the right ones to me. So these sold for $22. Uh, Canadian on Poshmark. Um, these would have came from the Goodwill bins, so let's get them shipped out. All right, once again, got it in a box. It's going to go Canada Post expedited parcel. Buyer always pays shipping, and they do have really good flat rate shipping rates on Poshmark, so it's pretty reasonable, honestly. So you never have to worry about shipping too much, especially as a seller. And like I said, these ones are going all the way out to BC. Now, I did make one more sale here on Depop, but unfortunately, it's right here. I actually already sold this jersey on depop to somebody else so i'm gonna have to cancel this order so when i looked back it actually sold 15 weeks ago i'm not sure how it was double listed on depop um but it was and i i sold it a second time in there somehow i'm not sure you know what i do is not perfect ever i am manually delisting you know like those vans i just sold i went through um so they were sold on dot ca poshmark i just delisted them across all other platforms that's what i normally do why that was double double listed on uh, Depop, I have no idea, but have to cancel that order. That's unfortunate because sales have been slow the last few days. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content, and we'll see you tomorrow.